Well, hello there, everyone, and welcome back to the video from the Demon Overlord. Today, I'm going to be going over this Ultra Lens attachment for my ca my Canon camera. This is a 0.43 times wide angle HD lens attachment. It has a 58 millimeter thread attachment, so it will work with most camera lenses of the Canon variety. I don't know about Nikon or anything like those because I only happen to have Canon. Um, it does actually have a front attachment, which is actually an 82 millimeter, so it is a pretty big bump up. So you could actually attach and attach to the front of this, as well as to the lens. It is a two-piece, which if we can rotate this here. As you can see, it does have two, the super wide angle lens and then the super macro. The super macro is to basically give me amazing miniature quality, or at least it's supposed to, and we're going to find out if it does, because I'm going to put some miniatures on the board to show my current camera, and then we're going to put that on and see if it makes a difference. So how about we get to the part where we open up and see what's inside it, shall we? Let's see what's in this little beefy box. Okay, so inside the box, we have a nice little other pouch to carry them all in. That's always nice. Uh, it comes with two different lens caps, one for the macro side and one for that large wide angle side. And the wide angle is a simple pop-on. The other one's actually a screw-on. So this thing actually felt heavier than my actual lens for my Canon camera. So surprise, surprise. Now, it... These are quality glass. Like These are actually very nice glass quality lenses. They're not like some cheap plastic lens or some cheap glass. They actually feel really solid, really nice. They're in place really well. So let's get some images up there for, so we can compare, shall we? Okay. So now up here we happen to have my uh, Darklands Rising Treant or arboreal regent whatever and he looks pretty good um let's do another miniature shall we let's swap it out so we can have a couple different comparisons for different sizes here we've swapped down to a large glass beholder just making sure i got the focus just right there we go and as you can see it looks pretty good right now and this is without the actual attachment piece for the lens so we're getting some nice quality already as long as we got our lighting nice and good which shows off a lot of the uh, sort of smoothness and slight sliminess look of my beholder. Now let's switch to a medium class miniature, shall we? So now here we have my Demon Huntress uh, with her lovely blue and slightly pink design with her lovely flowing red hair. And as you can see, that's a nice medium class. Now this is a Reaper Bones, not a WizKids, but it actually has good detail nonetheless. My lighting could be a little off, so you'll have to forgive me a little bit there, and it looks pretty good. Shows out that nice sheen she happens to have on her skin tone and all that. So let's put on this lens and see if these three look any different. I might add a wood giant to the mix here. Let's see. Yeah, so I decided to add the wood giant. I thought, why not add a little bit of some more large class? We'll add like a taller humanoid. Why not? As you can see, she's not looking too bad either. I can't really see much difference with her either. Let's just get her to turn a little more fast. There we go. And as you can see, we are still getting some lovely detail. Let's see if we can uh, bump that up, shall we? Actually, turn my lights a little more too, just to get some more light. There we are. Okay, let's see what it looks like when we get the actual macro attachment on there. Now, first up, we have the lovely wood giant, and you know what? It is slightly crisper and slightly sharper, so, you know, it is an improvement. Just messing with my focus there a little bit. You know what? I have to say that I do notice a slight improvement. It is not the greatest improvement. I will have to obviously play around with this a little more, but versus what I paid for $40 for an improvement, it does look nicer. It looks cleaner. You're getting more facial details on this nice large class miniature. Let's try with another one. Now, here's the Arboreal Regent once again. Eh, the downside is he doesn't have as much detail as I thought he would. I just went with a quick, huge creature I had near the beginning, and he looks okay. doesn't have as much detail as I wish he would to help pop. So this macro to try and get close up, like, stuff pop. But I do see a little bit more of the uh, bark scaling kind of going on there, those bark chunk pieces. So an improvement for him as well. Now, here we have the Beholder, and you know what? He actually is getting more detail, more of the color dividing going on like the parts that are supposed to be like purple are a little more pronouncedly through like it's actually making them pop a little more so you know what i would say even on him it's also making him look a little bit more defined which is great we're seeing the efforts of my paint job through him a lot nicer and cleaner and crisper so yeah let's see what happens when we get around to the face there a little bit I mean, it looks great from an overall side. My lighting could use an improvement, but other than that, we are getting some lovely look. I mean, he looks fantastic. 
So this thing is already proving to be very effective. Now let's try it with a medium class miniature, shall we? Here's one that I actually kind of decided to do as a little bit of a surprise. This is actually my uh, Dark Elf Queen on her sort of Lothish inspired throne. And you know what? She looks really well picked up. I've done her before on the camera and she didn't look as nice, but right now she's really coming into focus. And you know what? She looks really nice. It looks a lot better than the one I took picture of it before and I wasn't a big fan but she's really pronounced out there so it looks really good let's uh put my demon huntress back on there like it was planned now with her it's not as like super pronounced but I still do see more sharpness to her and she does look more neat like I said my lighting could probably use a little bit more work I'm assuming here but you know what she looks good I'm even seeing a little bit more definition in the skull versus the rest of like the sand terrain there on her base so or the sandy style look to it and you know what she still looks sharper and better. So I personally think this is a definite improvement. You guys comment down below if you don't see enough of it. Maybe my eyes are messed up. I don't know. But I'm not perfect, so I always say that. And you know what? I think it was worth it. I would probably give this for anyone who's in the hobby business of doing pictures like that or doing what I'm doing now, just simple videoing. Maybe this is worth getting or at least che worth checking out. I found this on Amazon. Uh, you guys can find it there, too. It's an, as one stated, an Altera... I think it's called the super macro lens when you looked it up there, but you know, great product, not too bad. And I might recommend it, but in the end, it's definitely going to help my quality of my videos. So, Hey, that's the improvement part, making it better for you guys out there to watch and enjoy. Now, as always guys, uh, please do subscribe. It helps keep the channel rolling. So if you haven't subscribed, please make sure you do and make sure you hit the notification to all. So you can make sure you see everything and check out our podcast, the Dyson Dummies, where you actually can hear us play the game. And hopefully we're getting some video here soon. So you can actually watch us use these miniatures that I happen to have on the board and make some lovely, uh, boards to show off what our characters are doing instead of just listening to us. And we're hoping to start season three here really soon as well. So anyway, guys, stay safe out there. Have a great one and stay tuned. Bye-bye.